Welcome back everyone to learn invitation today we're in dynamics and we're going to solve problem 15.20 okay it says the 200 pound cabinet is subjected to the force f equal to 20 parenthesis t plus 1 close parenthesis pounds where t is in seconds if the cabinet is initially moving to the left with a velocity of 20 feet per second determine its speed when t is equal to 5 seconds neglect the size of the rollers all right so what we're giving here is that we got a cabinet, it's attached by this rope, and by this rope we're applying a force that is a 30 degree angle with respect to my horizontal, okay? So we're also given that this cabinet is moving to the left with a velocity of 20 feet per second, okay? I just want to note that into our, let's call it free body diagram, even though it's not a real one. So in order to start this problem, let's write out our givens. Well, I'm given that the weight is equal to 200 pounds of this cabinet and from this one we can say that the mass is going to be basically equal to our weight 200 pounds divided by the gravity in the English units is 32.2 okay now we're also given that the force is equal to 20 multiplied by t plus 1 okay also, the velocity, initial velocity, is equal to 20 feet per second, and it's going to the left. So, since it's going to the left, I'm assuming that the left is negative direction, so I'm going to add a negative to this velocity. They're given that the second time, the second t is equal to 5 seconds, and I'm saying the second because this is the, the second t because uh, this is the time uh, on which we want to find the velocity okay so in order to solve this problem we're going to utilize chapter 15 equation which is basically the conservation of linear momentum and impulse so having this equation let's just start writing the now so first what we have is the mass so the mass is 200 divided by 32.2 we got this multiplied by the initial velocity well initial velocity is negative 20 then we have the addition of the integral of all the forces. Well, which forces do we have? Well, let's take a look. We have the weight going down. We have the normal force that this is, this is the weight. This is the normal force. And then the other one that we have is this force, okay? Since we're not going to move in the horizontal direction, we are going to only focus on the horizontal component of this force okay meaning f subscript x and well this force is basically f multiplied by the cosine of 30 as you guys uh, probably know at this point now if we're going to do the integral of this force well we're going to have the time from time zero when we start all the way to five seconds of the force f of x so this is f times cosine of 30. Well, but what is f? f is given to us as 20 multiplied by t plus 1 and multiplied by the cosine of 30 degrees. This is with respect to time. And this all should be equal to the mass again. So as we did it before, 200 divided by 32.2. And multiply by the velocity that we're trying to find, right? So the speed at this at this five second mark. Okay. So now that we have this, we can what we're going to do is we're going to plug everything on our left side to our calculator. Just to remind you guys, we can plug this into our uh, graphing calculators as well. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And everything on the left side will give me a total of 178. Point eighty nine, and this should be equal to 200 over 32.2 and the velocity at the second point. If we keep solving for our velocity at the second point, it will be our 178.89 multiplied by 32.2 and divided by 200. If we do this, so we'll have a total of 28.8 feet per second. 
okay and this should be our final answer for our problem so i hope you guys like the video please push the like button subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one Thank mm -hmm. you.